Welcome back to My Time Films, and today we're going to try and get these front rotors off before I end up having to take it to the shop. So I already took the wheel off and everything, so now all that's left is to use this breaker bar right here and see what happens. Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should have just used this. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh wait, that's right, I couldn't find it. That's why, uh, that's why I didn't use it. But you know, this just worked. Uh, so I'm just gonna do my front brakes now. Well, all done. These things are old. All right, got my new rotor right here. And we're just gonna put it on, I guess. And then my brake pads are over there, so everything's new. That looks amazing. All right, here are the OEM bolts right here. Might as well use these, that way it doesn't rust as easy. Okay, so um, yeah, I just changed the pads and the rotors, but there's a slight problem. Um, so I had this problem a while ago and I should have addressed it, but the brake pad, the brake pad is slightly crooked. And when I mean slightly crooked, both pads sit like this normally, right? And the outside pad is kind of like that. So there's like a tiny gap at the top where the where the rotor spins and where the pad sits. So I'm gonna go for a test run and check it out, see if this really is a big problem. I'm hoping that when I press the gas pedal, the the uh, the pad will kind of push closer to the the rotor. But um, there was no other way I could do this aside from milling down the brake pad to custom fit it when these are pads for an Integra so I'm not sure if I do I'm doing something really stupid or you know just trying to make things work but I've never had this problem this is the first time pads ever gave me you know this much of a problem that's why I cut the camera off so I'm gonna go do the other side now see if I have the same problem and then we're gonna go for a test ride and see how everything feels all right so I'm doing the other brake rotor now and there's always just that one thing to mess up a day and I found it so I just got done watching a video on YouTube and I'm probably gonna go run to the store. I don't want to ride around with mismatched rotors with one old rotor and a new rotor with one side with new brake pads and the other side with old brake pads. I don't think that's gonna work so well so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have to somehow manage to get this rotor off um, because it's stuck to the hub. We can go ahead and try to do something right now, you know. Nothing. Now, on the video, he put a bolt back here and pushed it through to make it touch the back of the rotor, and then you can hear like a loud crack, and then just like, he can just hit it off at that point, but I don't have a bolt long enough for that. So, those are 17 millimeter spots right there where the bracket bolt is and I would have to go run to the store and buy 17 mils. So that's kind of like out of the question. So now I have to somehow manage to figure out how to get this off or ride around with mismatch brake pads and rotors. So when in doubt, you improvise and you use the tools that you have on standby. So let's see if this works. Whoop, I missed, that's embarrassing. And 
here we go. I think it's loosened. And that's how you get off a brake rotor my way. All right, this one's fully on, so I definitely think something's wrong with the other side, so I'll check that out after I do this test run, and I'll let you guys know how it worked out. All right, so the brake test is done. Now we gotta focus on the rears next week. I'll see you guys in the next one.